this just from taking responsibility of my own emotions. I was victim of my own emotions. I let my emotions control my life. Can you imagine? Welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela. I like to talk about how to get out the best and the most of my life and also of your life. And today's topic is why we are acting as victims so often in our lives because it just came to my mind and I was asking myself why do, including me, why do we do that? With playing victim I mean pointing the finger out to someone else and blaming this other person for our own circumstances, our circumstances in our life. So if I'm now pointing at my boyfriend for coming home early and I'm blaming everything on him that I cannot do my video now because he needs this room or whatever then I'm being a victim I'm not taking responsibility over my life every time we're pointing out the finger what we're actually doing is we are getting in a victim role we are positioning ourselves in the passenger seat I found out the word victim itself says a lot. Victim comes from the Latin victima and it means to choose to sacrifice. So every time you're pointing your finger out on another circumstances or another person, you are sacrificing something. But what are you sacrificing? You are sacrificing your ability to respond means you are sacrificing your power to change the moment and when i heard this or when i understood this it sank deep because i'm a person i'm still blaming other person other people other circumstances outer circumstances for how i'm feeling sometimes and i think it's human it's a human nature that we are doing that but to be aware of it and to be aware of what we actually do it's deep and it hits me hard today so victim comes from victima and victima means choose and sacrifice my question is why would you want to sacrifice responsibility in our minds, in my mind, maybe in your mind, the responsibility is something I don't really want to have, especially if it's not if it's something that didn't work out in my favor. Who wants to be responsible of their own miserable life or their own miserable feelings? I think no one actually wants to be responsible of that. But let's look closer. What is responsibility? It's again just a word says a lot and responsibility is the ability to respond. We are sacrificing our power to change the moment itself, ourselves. So every time we are being in this victim role, we are sacrificing our own power to change the moment. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? why would we want to do that and yet we are doing that all the time everyone including me and then i was looking even closer to that so fendi my cat <laughs> i was just looking closer and what else we sacrifice with with sacrificing our power we are actually sacrificing our responsibility and i think that's why we actually are going into this victim role because we don't want to take responsibility and then suddenly i think it doesn't sound anymore that bad because why you want why would you want to give away your ability to respond to any moment and any circumstances that happens into your life this means in the end that your ability to respond is also your power to change. So if you're giving now away your 
responsibility your ability to respond it's equal to you giving away your power to change anything you giving away your power of how you feel of how your life will go of what happens in your life of everything you are giving away this power and why would you want to give it's your life why would you want to give away your power when you see it that way i think no one wants to give away the power me i don't want to give away the power i don't want my boyfriend deciding over how i'm feeling i don't want anyone deciding over how i'm feeling I don't want my mom telling me what she thinks is good or bad for me to do, which job is good or bad. It's not her responsibility. And I don't want to give her that responsibility. It's mine. And once I understand that responsibility is actually a blessing, it's actually something so good to have, then you can take steps forward if you know okay hey whatever happens into my life it's my responsibility my ability to respond is tested then you are going to respond you're not gonna anymore take your finger and blame on anything else you're taking the finger back on you always anything and everything if good or bad or if you cause these circumstances it doesn't matter it's always your responsibility and i think it's actually a beautiful thing it's actually beautiful to know once i'm taking responsibility of whatever happens in my life i can actually choose whatever i want in my life i don't need to anymore sacrifice for anyone or anything because i like to say i'm having a joystick of my life and i'm keeping it in my hand you're not giving away this joystick anymore from now on you know hey whatever it's my responsibility whatever it's my responsibility this person treating me wrong it's my responsibility it's my responsibility of how i feel it's my responsibility of how i react it's my responsibility of keeping this person close to me or not this is my responsibility it's not my responsibility to change this person it's not my responsibility to tell the person that this person is wrong no 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 it's my responsibility to understand where i am at to keep keep my energy high to keep my emotions in a good state and to keep people that are draining me away from me that's my responsibility what other people are doing is not my responsibility even if they are doing it to me it's not mine so at the end it's so easy to blame someone else for everything that happens in your life or for bad things especially in your life but it's at the same time a weak thing to do because why why do you give away this responsibility because you feel weak you feel like you cannot take or you do not have the ability to respond but weak people don't get a lot from life and i don't want to say now anyone here is actually weak i don't want to offend someone but it's a weak thing to do to push away responsibility in all kind of situations so life is literally not going to change if you are not accepting that you are the root of everything of everything every good and every bad you are the root of it you are the person that is experiencing it
do you think someone that is losing or someone doesn't know how to manage hundred dollar right do you think this person will get even will even get the task to manage one million dollar <laughs> it's obvious that not because if a person is already not able to respond for a smaller task life is giving this person this smaller task again and again and again and again until this person is learning from this task and then can step up that's why we actually want to take as much responsibility as we can because it's something good it just means okay the more i'm able to respond to what happens the more positive is coming to my life and with every bigger positive with every bigger reward is also coming a bigger task we have to take responsibility over that's why it's always going hand in hand it's like yin yang it's like up down it's like the forever sign it's just that's life it's just the bigger the high the lower the low it's just how it is that's why the more responsibility you can take or let's say the more responsibility you can take when you're down the more you will get and then again you will go down and you will be asked to take this responsibility and you will go up back and then again and again and again and again and that's why we want to actually take responsibility we actually want to be responsible for whatever happens into our lives and i can share another personal example with you so i was in depression right when i was 17 18 19 over some years actually i was in depression and i had a severe eating disorder and it came to a point it came to a point where i would just lie in bed for days for weeks and i would not go out anymore i just had no no purpose of living anymore and i was feeling so miserable that i didn't want to go out and through not going out i felt more miserable and would again not go out so at the end of the day or at the end of the week or of the month i would just be at a point where i just was so miserable i was controlled by my miserable feelings this feeling that i had of feeling miserable and maybe connected with my past or whatever was there in the mix but mainly the feeling of me feeling miserable was controlling me and told me to not go out until it came one day i said it's enough enough is enough i was fed up from myself like i couldn't stand myself anymore i just said it's enough and i took responsibility from that moment of how i feel <laughs> so that one day i decided in order i decided enough is enough and i knew i need to try different things if i want a different outcome so i would just get my shit together and do things differently i took responsibility of how i feel of course i cannot just feel like this better but i took responsibility and i took baby steps to feel better i was going out i was doing things i like i like to enjoy the sun i was going for a walk in the sun i was slowly meeting people again and step by step with little baby steps i gained back my power i decided that one day i want to take responsibility over my own emotions and i got out of that i took back my responsibility and that's the only thing that helped and that's the only thing that can ever help it's always you and it's always your decision it's never someone else and therapy can definitely help but in a case where you don't want to go to therapy it doesn't help it only helps if you want to do that and 
until that moment i didn't want to change anything so i was not ready and i was not open to go to therapy i just did because i had to and it was not helpful until the day that i decided it's enough it's enough and i'm changing things right now i'm taking responsibility of whatever happens and that's when my life started to change again life is not going to change if you are not accepting that you are the root you are the root for everything that happens in your life it's your reality not mine i'm the root of everything that happens in my life and so it is with everyone and once we understand hey i'm the root for everything that happens in my life i'm the root i'm responsible i'm taking everything to myself I'm not blaming myself, but I'm also not blaming others. I'm not taking responsibility of others, of actions or words of other people, but of mine. Then life will change and then miracles are happening and then things are going your way. You're creating your life then. Was it comfortable? Definitely not. It was definitely not comfortable. Was it worth it? It was more than worth it. I got back my life. It was not only worth it. So with that said, just stop being victim of, the, of your circumstances, of people, of your feelings. Whatever comes to your life comes and shows up for you. And it's a blessing. Whatever comes to your life is a blessing for you to respond to. It's like a task, it's like a game. But as long as you have your joystick in your hand, nothing can happen. Because you always have yourself, you always have your joystick in the hand, in your hand. And whatever happens, if you are with yourself, if you are responsible you take responsibility you are able to respond nothing can bring you down anymore and your life will go the way you want it to go do not sacrifice this ability to change the moment do never sacrifice this again as little as it is if you're in a restaurant you don't like the food say you don't like the food change it if you're in the salon and you don't like how they cut your hair, how they do your nails, say it. Say it. Don't be victim. Just say something. It's easy as that. Don't go home and blame them for doing a bad job. No. Right in the minute at the place you say something. You broke the belt from your best friend. Say it and own it. Don't say yes, but no. Just say it. Just own it. It's always the truth. And even if someone disrespects you, just say something. If you feel disrespected by someone, maybe it's a close person even, what options do you have to take responsibility over that? First, I would say something. First of all, I would say, listen, I don't like the way you talk to me and if you want to keep talking to me that way i don't think there is space in my life for you and once that is said you also keep you keep your word as hard as it is some people they just don't want to comply with how you want to be treated how you feel comfortable and that's fine but take responsibility don't let people walk over you over and over again and then still be with them and blaming them, them for you not feeling at your best, for you not having your power. No, it's you. It's always you. You decide for not having the power. You decide to give away that power. It's you. It's no one else but you and it's always you. And... I have to remind myself over and over again, that's why I did this video, because I'm not perfect and I'm doing the same 
BS over and over again as well. I am young and I make mistakes, but I'm willing to learn and I'm willing to remind myself and I'm willing to get out of my comfort zone. And I think that's what is counting. That's what we all have to do. We have to just keep keep experiencing ourselves, keep unfolding and keep understanding ourselves. You have to claim your power back and your power is your responsibility. So don't be afraid of responsibility because recall in your mind, hey, responsibility, ability to respond is a blessing. Everything that shows up for you is for you. And the bigger the test, the bigger the task, the bigger the trigger, the bigger the blessing after. Just take full responsibility of whatever happens in your life and you will see. You will find yourself in a different life. I wanted to say now in a different movie, yes, because you will find yourself in a life that actually goes the way you want and you will feel like you are the main character in your movie. And that's just from you taking your power back. I hope this was inspiring to you to create the life you want, the way you want it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Let me know in the comments if you want to have more videos like this. And thousand kisses. I love you so much. See you in the next video.